police and fire brigade in different areas discussing um, what the fire was doing and the fire by this time was just um, out of control really we had to do something about going so uh, my wife had already gone with the two boys we were right we were just going up to what end for, to friends for the night to, just to get away from the area and as I was driving along the colder highway I realized I couldn't see where I was going and at one stage I pulled over to the side of the road and thought it's not safe to drive and I thought well it's probably not safe to sit on the side of the highway in the middle of the black forest so I thought oh well better keep on going just as we took off um, 100 meters towards Melbourne was Hill Sawmill which was also on fire and I couldn't see because of the smoke so that's how thick the smoke was I couldn't see 100 meters um, and the flames were actually uh, pretty well right across the road so um, we looked at it and sort of felt that we could just uh, get through because um, the flames only appeared in one small area um, but we drove through that and then, then when we drove through obviously there were flames still coming onto the road but um, uh, they weren't as bad as the first ones but uh, it was very hard to know what was there because you couldn't see because of the smoke. Then we went to the old Wood End race course which is where the police had directed us to and we all had to just park around around the race course and around the inside of the perimeter fence and that's when I started to worry because we actually got locked inside they didn't want people leaving the race course and from the way my car was parked against the fence I had a full view for the entire night of Mount Macedon burning It's actually it's actually upsetting for me to remember it. past the service station, well, uh, it was a bit daunting because uh, sure enough it was just a pile of rubble and um, it was uh, the metal structure of the building had just collapsed down, uh, large metal structures were just like, um, you know, bits of spaghetti. And on the Saturday some strangers from Melton delivered their, their caravan and it was set up on in our backyard um, just out of the kindness of their heart that people had rallied together and we were lent their family caravan. Everybody did their own work. You didn't have money to call a builder to put up a shed. Uh, you know, everybody chipped in guys that work for you chipped in, friends chipped in, um, you know, you would just get together and put it together and do the best you can. And so that was great from that point of view because um, I think the more you work with people and the more you um, uh, associate with them, you sort of get um, sparked up and stops you getting down in the dumps.